Every dream starts with a feeling. Every feeling is born within the heart. Every thought is built upon memories, some of which have caused pain, joy, anger, sorrow, hope, and love. Every dream requires self-denial. Every dream has a story. This is the beginning of her dream. My name is Genesis. I'm 14 years old and I was born in New York. When I was a child, I remember my dad used to always take me and my little brothers to the park like almost every day. And I used to go with my little aunts to the park and everything like after school because there was, there was a park like right next to the elementary school we went to. I remember my mom. She used to stay at home a lot because she didn't work. So she used to stay home and she'll go pick us up at school and she'll take us to the park. She will be go home and then she'll cook for us. I remember me and my older brother Ronnie were so close when we were smaller. We used to argue sometimes, but we was really close. And then a few years later, my little brother came. I was very shy when I was little like I would not speak to you if you would stare at me I would like try not to look at you like I was too shy I used to love my teachers so I was close with her and to overcome it I just started like I went to school every day so I just got used to it like I started talking to the kids in class I remember we used to have this dog named Lion and like me and my brother Ronnie we used to love him and everything like we used to have him when we lived in Brooklyn but then like one day we came from school and he was gone so we were like so sad we didn't know what happened to him and there was this one house we used to pass through like after school and we're walking home and we used to be like oh my god this is Lion this is Lion but like we didn't know so we would just assume it was him, but we never really knew what happened to him, like who let him out the house and everything. The way I would describe my mom is she's independent, she's very strong, and she could go through a lot, but she'll still, she'll find a way for everything. When my dad was deported, I was really close to him. I was obviously like a daddy's little girl. We were so close and everything. And we got deported. I somehow saw it like a big problem. And I just closed myself. That's one of the reasons I closed myself. I felt like I couldn't explain how I felt to anyone. Me and my dad were so close. Like, we were just so close. I used to love him so much. He was just so special to me. It was just how, how he used to spend time with us. Like, he would get home from work. And like, the few hours he would stay up, he would stay up with us watching TV or anything. Today, I didn't get to say goodbye to him. Cause that day, it was his court day. Like, it was on a weekday. And we both woke up early. And he told me, he was like, oh, I have court today. So I was like, really? And I was like, can I go with you? Because I had a bad feeling, so I was like, let me go with you. And he was like, no, you have school. Because he was always on me about going to school. So he was like, no, you have to go to school. And I was like, no, I want to go with you. But he didn't let me. So then I went to school. And like, I was having a bad day. Like, I was having such a bad day that day. And then when I was in my last class of the day, I saw my mom, and she was crying. So I already had a bad feeling, and I was like, what's wrong? And she was like, nothing. So I'm like, why you look like you've been crying? She was like, it's nothing, let's go. So I was like, no. Like, I would not walk out the building until she told me what was wrong. So then I kept bothering her about it. So then we got to like the parking lot of the school, and I asked her, I was like, what's wrong? So she was like, no, we'll talk about it at home. Like, no, I want to know. So then she stopped, and she looked at me, and she was like, when your dad went to court, Immigration was there. She was like, that they took it. To my dad, 
love you so much over everything that you've done. I love you so much. Um, in the future, I hope to see myself successful, graduated, good job, maybe a nice family. Just being able to support my family with everything. One of my goals is just to have good grades this year, have passing grades, being able to promote to the next grade so I can become a, pediat a registered nurse. And to my mom, um, I want to say thank you for this party you've given me. But I'm so thankful for every sacrifice you've made and I love you so much. She dreams with a life full of happiness, challenges, smiles, and tears of joy. She dreams with laughter and success, with living life to the fullest. Now is the time. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. She was created to live her present as her last day and her future as it is already here. She was created to fly high and above all the sorrow and pain, to surrender her weaknesses and restore the power that is within her, coming from above. To look beyond every trial and storm. She's ready. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. She will spread her wings and fly away beyond her dreams and expectations.